Hello and welcome guys, welcome to my ride. Today I want to show you which mode of lock setup I am using and we will have a look about the budget alternatives. If you're someone who's just started out with motor blogging or if you're looking to upgrade your setup without breaking the bank then this video is for you. As a motor blogger myself, I know how important it is to have the right equipment to capture the perfect shot and provide a great audio experience for your viewers. In this video we will be taking a look at some affordable options that will help you achieve that without breaking the bank. Let's start with the most important thing, the camera. We will obviously use an action camera because of the convenient size and weight. In my opinion there are two options right now when it comes to image quality, GoPro and the Insta360. With the Insta360 you are not as flexible when it comes to pricing and models as you are with the GoPro series. When you are on a budget, I would recommend the GoPro Hero 7 Black or Hero 9 Black because of the image quality. You can get the 7 Black used for $200 and the Hero 9 Black for $250 used or for $300 brand new. For motor blocks, I would definitely not get the Hero 8 because you can't change the lenses by yourself. Especially as a motorcycle rider, the camera is pretty exposed. So if the lens gets a crack, you can't replace it yourself and have to send it to GoPro, which is pretty expensive. Even GoPro noticed this and changed this feature after the Hero 8 series again, so you can change it yourself. If money isn't an issue, I would pick the top-notch product Insta360 ONE R or the GoPro Hero 11 Black. I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 Black and I think the quality of the footage is great for its cost. The mounting position. That's one of the key factors, in my opinion, when it comes to good and interesting footage. I tried several perspectives and the best was the chin mount. There are two ways to mount the GoPro onto your chin. A fixed mount, which is permanently attached onto your helmet and a more flexible variation, which can be deattached. I'll link you both mounts in the description down below. I am using the fixed mount from chinmounts.com and I'm really happy with it. It's rock solid and when the GoPro isn't mounted, it's not noticeable at all because of its light weight. It is attached with a special sticker onto the helmet. There is also an adapter included which makes sure that you get the perfect angle when the GoPro is attached. Dependent on the model of the helmet, it's between 30 to 40 bucks, which is an okay pricing in my opinion. If you like my videos so far, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and would be massively appreciated. Number 3. The sound. When you're recording your first ride with your new setup, you will notice something reviewing the footage. It's the wind noise. But how can we get rid of it? There are two possibilities. Number 1. A wind slayer. That's the possibility that I use. It will cost you about $10 and will give you clear audio about 80% of the time. You just put it onto the camera so the internal mics are covered by it. The only downside to it is that it's pretty hard to turn off the camera when you're wearing riding gloves. Let's have a look at the comparison with and without the wind slayer. Number 2 would be an external recorder. That's the premium alternative to the Wind Slayer. You have to get an external recorder, which will be around 50 to 150 bucks, and a lavalier microphone. This way, you're recording the image and sound onto two separate devices, so you have to sync them up in post production. Because you can place the lavalier mic in a place where it's covered from the wind, you get rid of 100% wind noise and you will get a clean engine sound, which is great. I tried this method for me, but it was too much of a hustle for me to sync up both devices in the edit. It's really nice to have, but you have to keep the editing work in mind when you make this choice. The motor vlogger Sha, for example, is using this method. Last but not least, voiceover. There are also two alternatives. Number one, plug in a leveler mic into your GoPro, which can be done with the media mod, and place it inside your helmet under your cheek pad. This way you will get a clean sound if you prefer voiceover during a ride. The media mod costs about $80. The downside to it is that the setup gets even heavier and you may notice this in your neck when you're on a longer tour. That's why I chose option number 2. 
the voiceover with a studio microphone. This gives you superior audio quality without any kind of wind noise. The downside to it, the costs. You will need an audio interface, which is 100 bucks, and a studio microphone, which is also about 80 bucks. But you will get the best audio quality with it. Let me know in the comments below which camera you're using and why. Every device I mention in this video is linked right now in the comments below. See you again next Sunday. Stay safe, ride your ride. Goodbye.